So. Hello. So. Are you? Seconds. I'm fine. Are you? <laughs> Sorry, Where are you other. from? Um, I live in Shanghai. I'm from Xinjiang uh, Yes. Mm. Yes, I I lived in Shanghai, but I mm. Mm, my mm, hometown is uh, Hebei province. Uh, <laughs> I I lived in uh, Hebei. Uh, about uh, four four years when I uh, six years uh, six years old. <laughs> oh. All right. Hello, everyone. It looks like you guys are Love getting pizza. to know each other. Hello. Yes. How is everyone today? I'm doing well. Today is normal day. Yes, today, today is Wednesday, or as some people say, it's hump day, hump day, hump day Wednesday. Hump day? Because it's in the middle of the yeah. week. Yeah, just uh, went, went to work. Yeah. All right. So, I can hear you breathing into the microphone, by the way. It's a little loud. All right, so, much better. Today's session is on what motivates you. So we got questions and all sorts of activities for you to figure out what motivates you. This is like a deep question. <laughs> By the way, I'm Johnny and I'm from the United States. Let's go ahead and get started. What motivates you? All right, Alice, can you read and answer this first question here? Okay, uh, how could you describe uh, motivation? Uh, I think motivation is uh, 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 motivation means when, uh, when we have uh, when we have uh, no when uh, when uh, when we want to achieve something, we we must uh, we have to uh, we have to do uh, to do uh, to do these things. Uh, hard work to achieve them. I think, based on what you said, I think when you want to achieve something, it's very, very hard to understand you. I'm not sure why. Maybe you need to put the microphone a little farther away. Yeah. Uh, okay, is it better now? Much better, <laughs> yeah, much better. Okay. Um, next question, Kim. Go ahead and answer this one and read it, by the way. What are some motiva motivators for you? Mm. Uh, I <laughs> I want to uh, I want to at uh, my job uh, I I want to my job mm, I want my job mm, is better than than now, and uh, I want to to um to um to um to to earn more money <laughs> so what motivates you is to earn more money <laughs> yes <laughs> Let me write that down to earn more money why do you want money um I want to buy mm, luxury mm, goods, mm, and uh, I want to to mm, live a mm, high uh, mm, quality uh, qualities uh, life. <laughs> I see. So, you want to be able to afford to live luxuriously. <laughs> okay, everyone to their own. All right. Um, before we move on, do we have any questions or any concerns? Can everyone hear me good? If there's any uh, problems, let me know now. 
and teacher can uh, can you uh, uh, can you explain uh, motivated uh, motivators and uh, motivation and uh, motivators different is different a uh, different it's the same word it's just uh, conjugated differently right so to motivate is the present just tense. the meaning yeah so let me write this down so to motivate to motivate Oh my god, I Present tense, right? Motivated. Yes. This past tense, right? Motivator. Yeah. That's a verb, right? The Motivator is a verb. It's a noun. noun. Sorry, noun. Noun. Ah, ah, you guys are paying attention. Good job. Motivate. To <laughs> Sorry, motivating. How about that one? Motivate. Motivation. Our motivator are different. Yeah. It's the same? It, it's different ways of uh, conjugating the word, right? Present tense, past tense, noun, verb. Um, but it all means the same thing. Motivation. Mm, motivation. So, I guess if I were to answer the it's question, not. how would you describe motivation? I would answer... Motivation is what drives you to do things. It's what it's what encourages you to do things, right? What okay. encourages for you to do things, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. What motivates you? Okay. I can still hear you beating your microphone, by the way. Okay, this next question. Alice, can you answer and can you read and answer this question for me? Okay. Uh, when are you most uh, motivated? Uh, when I have uh, when I have a task, or when uh, or uh, we need to uh, we need to understand and uh, uh, learn some uh, learn something. Uh, then I will uh, I will have uh, motivated mm -hmm. to accomplish something. So when you have a task at hand, yes. you need to accomplish something, whether that's learning or whatever. Cool. For me, if I were to answer this, I would say, when I have an approaching deadline. <laughs> when I have an approaching deadline, huh. I'm very motivated. All right. Mm -hmm. Kim, can you go ahead and read, read and answer this next question? When are you least uh, motivated? Mm. When I mm, when I meet a uh, a big uh, France transition, I would uh, mm, I would doubt uh, my should drive. Can you say that one more uh, time? This time, mm, I, when you when I. When I have, when I have a uh, a big uh, frost transition. I can't. I don't know what you're saying. A fro frost frost transition. Try, try typing it for me. Uh, try typing it mm. for me. Uh, uh, F R U S T R A T I N T I O N. Oh, when you're frustrated. When, oh, when yeah. you're frustrated. <laughs> when frustrated. You're frustrated. Is that what you mean? Frustration. 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 Uh, I would uh, doubt my drive. Mm, I think uh, I will. Mm, I will fail the next time. So I. So this time, uh, I have the least motivated mm -hmm. motivation. Makes sense. <laughs> so when you're frustrated, you don't want to be productive. <laughs> for me, um, <laughs> for me, it's when I'm tired. <laughs> right? So if I'm tired, I'm not very motivated. Cool. All right, last question here. Why? Hmm. 
Alice, you want to answer this one? Mm. Why? Uh, because when we do something important, we uh, we must be motivated. But uh, if we, if we do something is not important, I will choose uh, I will choose give up. Like uh, when I uh, when I graduate, uh, I need to I just need to write a uh, write uh, write wrote uh, one papers. Uh, but my daughter told me. Uh, uh, ask, uh, but my daughter asked me to uh, write uh, two two papers. So, but uh, uh, but uh, I I didn't do it. I just uh, finished one mm -hmm. because I think it's not important for me. Yeah, so it wasn't important. So it makes sense. So we need to do important things. Okay. Yeah. It looks like we have another student. Hello, Denise. How are you today, Denise? Uh, hello, teacher. Sorry, I'm late. It's all right. We were just answering some questions about what motivates you. All right. Moving on. Okay. What motivates you? All right. Kim, can you read and answer this first question here? Mm, um, motivated people more successful than unmotivated people. Yes, yes, um, of course, mm, when a mm, person uh, was uh, motivated, he will have, he will mm, full of, mm, full of mm, mm, confidence, mm, he, he will believe himself, he will mm, success. So, so a person um, was motivated, he always uh, um, be successful, uh, be more successful than unmotivated pe mm -hmm. person. Mm. So a motivated person will be more successful. Yeah, but... But everyone has a different everyone definition a different of success, right? Of yes. Yes. So, every, so maybe, every success is maybe to some people, to some you don't need to be motivated. But mostly that's not the case because I know most of the time you have to be motivated to be yes maybe <laughs> to be a person that's worth something yes yes maybe yes <laughs> all right Denise mm. can you go ahead and read right. this question yes. and answer it yeah. Uh, okay, if a person wants to be successful, how should they motivate themselves? Um, in my opinion, um, uh, first, uh, wherever, uh, wherever they, um, themselves, um, doing some suit, and then, uh, don't be discar uh, discourages for themselves. So the uh, first they will always discourage um for for themselves mentorate. Mm. And then um and then the other things um be sensitive uh, be sen sen sensible in everything and uh, then do. I'm not sure I'm following what you're saying. Can you can you say it one more time? So so how do you how do you stay motivated? Um, what do you do? How do you stay? I didn't. How do you stay um, motivated? Uh, I, I say it in my opinion so I one person want to be successful, they will always courageous 
than our colleges um, themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the mentory. Yeah, and and then they will do some things. Uh, do some everything. They will be sensible. So they'll encourage themselves. Maybe let's find some examples. Like if you want to encourage yourself, what might you do specifically? For example, I used to encourage myself by setting goals right when I when I notice a deadline is approaching uh, yeah I motivate myself to get things done cool any questions so far yeah may may some sensible may some print no question all right Thank you so much. All right, what motivates you? Cool. More questions. Now let's go ahead and answer this this first one here, and then, but make sure you read it as well. Okay. Uh, is it better to keep a motivation to yourself or to share <coughs> it with someone else? Why? Uh, for me, uh, I think uh, uh, I need uh, I need to share uh, share uh, share something with uh, someone because uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a person um, I'm a uh, I like uh, I like uh, listen to others uh, others advice and uh, uh, I can sh I can share with uh, with others and then uh, other people can give me some advice uh, and some good idea uh, I uh, so I can uh, I can promote uh, myself. Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah. So you prefer to share it with other people because you like to listen to what advice they might have. Cool. All right. Next question here, Kim. Can you answer this one? Mm, who would you say are your uh, motivation motivations with? I usually mm, say are my mm, motivations with my husband. He always mm, he usually encourages uh, me to do something. Mm -hmm. and he he also gave me uh, uh, some um, advice advices. He he encouraged me uh, to insist uh, to do it. Mm -hmm. Right. So it sounds like you share your motivation with your husband. What about your friends? What about your friends or other family members, mm. right? Maybe they ask about what mm, motivates you. My, mm, mm, I also um, like uh, share my motivation with, with my my son. My son is a um, Mm, good boy. <laughs> he he always uh, encourages me. Mm, encourages me. Uh -huh. uh, so I sometimes sometimes mm, I I like a uh, uh, sire with him. Mm -hmm. Also. Yes, I also <laughs> My friends, uh, yes, my friends leave the uh, leave leave me uh, very fun. So sometimes I so you don't see them often. I I know yes I know uh, time to to tell them about uh, my about my idea. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Any questions before we move on? No. All right. No, thank you. More questions about what motivates you? All right. This question here is asking, what are some factors in motivation? Interesting. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to make a poll. 
right? And I want I want you guys to vote on which motivates you most, right? I'm making the poll now, but I can only put four options. <laughs> All right, I put the first four, right? And I want you to vote. Ready? Go ahead and vote. Which one mm -hmm. motivates you most? Only one person voted. <laughs> okay. What motivates you? Denise, can you read this question here? Are you there, Denise? Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm song? here. What are some fractures in motivation? Yeah. So which one? Which um, one motiv motivates you most? Maybe <coughs> family. Family. Why family? Yeah. Um. Maybe responsibility. responsibility. If someone um have a family, then they will. Now they will um, give it their parents and child and uh, <clears throat> friends some some gift and there will some some pressures. There will some pressure for for land. So um, there will so pressures. Mm -hmm. And see. then it's a fracture in motivation. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, your family can also, they, they can also encourage you to do good things, right? How about you, Alice? Yeah. Alice, which one of these five motivates you most? Uh, I choose freedom because I'm not a, uh, not a big uh, uh, ambitious people. Uh, I just like uh, I just like to enjoy my life. Uh, I think uh, uh, I just need to uh, to uh, to make a living with uh, with enough. We don't need to I don't need to uh, earn a lot of money. And I'm a sensitive, uh, a sensitive person, so I, uh, I can't uh, do a lot of uh, work. So I just uh, need to do freedom. So I chose uh, now. I chose to become a teacher. I think it's very relaxed. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Cool. All right, and last but not least, Tim, which one of these five motivates you most? Mm. <laughs> I. Mm, the most um, factors I think, um, mm, possessions, possessions. Yeah, mm. you mentioned earlier that you want luxury items and stuff, right? Mm, because, mm, because, uh, mm, I want to do many things. I. I need um, I need a lot of um, a, a big um, pressures to um, suppose me to do so you to do these things. You want to do a lot of things. I want to travel. <laughs> uh, I want I want I want to um, traveling. Uh, like traveling. to mm, to buy yes to buy um but you can't mm, bring your possessions to buy when you travel luxury yes you can't bring your possessions yes. with you when you travel yeah mm. but I I must um mm, have have many money, then I can mm, travel in. Uh, then I can travel a a bond, uh, all over the world. Mhm. Mm yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, awesome. Good yes. Answer, yes, I want to, to do many things. 
I think uh, uh, money can help me. Yeah, yeah, money definitely helps. <laughs> For me, if <laughs> I were to choose one of these, I would choose I would choose freedom, right? I would also choose freedom. I would also choose freedom to live life the way I want to live life, right? Cool. Any questions so far? No, thank what, you. What I mean? What I mean? Live life. So, um, kind of, kind of what Kim said. New <clears throat> style. Right. It's to to have the ability to do. To hold on, to do what what I want when I want to. Right. That's that's true freedom, right? If I want to go and sail on a boat, I want to be able to do that right now. But that's not realistic for many. Then, of us. then, then you need uh, money also. <laughs> Exactly, so I need money. See, the idea is to figure out how to make money while doing whatever you want, whenever you want. But how do you do that? Because mm. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. Cool. Alright. Oh, I know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. I feel like I see this question every slide. <laughs> Which it is, by the way. Cool. Um, so, the last person to answer was, I think, Kim. Um, so, motivation can be extrinsic or intrinsic. Extrinsic, extrinsic is to have something that's really visible like you know buy more stuff have more money um, you know own a car yes intrinsic is more like this is for me for who I am all right Denise can you read this first sentence yeah. this question and then answer it um, motivations can be uh, for example, more praise or intrinsic. For example, a thing says of the achievement. All right, hold on. Before we move on, I want you guys to practice these two words because they're very hard. Extrinsic and in extrinsic. 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 Intrinsic. <laughs> That's very hard. It's trending in trading. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's trending. Okay, go ahead and continue with this question. Which do you prefer, white? Um, I preferred. Um. I preferred uh in trading. So why do you prefer intrinsic? Mm, because, yeah, because um, if uh before it can it can uh if some um for example if someone um have um have some a lot of um, knowledge or uh, or his Mm. He actually is very well, and then we will talk. We talk about talk about something. We will feel uh, comfortable and feel the well, and and then I can I can learn more about something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, it was a I think uh, follow, ancient snake. Right? But based on what I I gathered, you said it's um, pretty much more important for them. It's more. It's it's a better <laughs> option. It's yeah. It's, yeah, it was a little hard to understand. So you prefer intrinsic? Yes. I think I also do as well. It's yeah. more honorable instead of oops, instead of owning more things, right? It's more honorable. Like for example, yeah. For example, um, I. How should I word this? So, I used to live out of one, um, like carry-on, carry-on bag for three months. So I had everything in one bag for three months. Three months is a long time. Is a long time. Yeah, it's a three months. For so me. I had everything I needed: my clothes, <laughs> my computer, my camera. So I didn't have a lot of material possessions. In fact, I had very, very little. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's very hard. Yeah. Right, for someone. Yeah, of course, and it, it's uh, it can be annoying too. <laughs> but let's go ahead and continue to the next question. Alice, can you read this question and answer it for me? Okay, from the previous list, what are extrinsic motivators and what are intrinsic ones? Uh, motivate, uh, extrinsic motivators are uh, like uh, buy a big house and, uh, uh, and achieve higher education, uh, like PhD. Uh, and uh, can, uh, I can... Uh, I can take a promotion, uh, and uh, uh, in, and the intrinsic, uh, intrinsic, uh, uh, intrinsic ones are uh, I can uh, I can make uh, make my life more comfortable. Um, uh, let me think. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, I can in, I can eat my like uh, my like food, and, and I don't need to cook. <laughs> yeah, I like you know what I like cooking, but it takes too much time, so I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, Let's move on. I don't like the um, wash wash dish dishes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I washing. don't like cooking. <laughs> yeah, washing dishes is annoying. Yeah. Right. Next question here is for Kim. Can you read this question and answer it for me? How would you help someone increase their motivation? <clears throat> I I usually mm, uh, encourage them uh, and uh, admire them and um, and help them. Uh, I I like uh, I would to them. I want to uh, everyone um, happy and uh, um, success mm -hmm. to do so to do their uh, what to do a thing. You wish them luck. <laughs> yes. You know. Um, yes. I used to work in sales, and I learned that the best motivation is to. Um, is to give them an image of a terrible future and then tell them what they need to do to avoid it. Uh, then, uh, first, it, uh, mm, first the um, uh, girl. Well, <laughs> I imagine of a uh, terrible future. Mm. Uh, make a make a go. I'm not sure I really understand what you're saying, but. Mm. 
You're saying something about a girl? I don't know. Either way, um, um let me get back to the <laughs> We don't have a lot of time. G O A L. Goal. Oh, goal. Yes. Goals can help. <laughs> I, <mentioned laughs> I thought you meant girl. Yes. I guess girls can help motivate guys. Girl. <laughs> All right. Um, next question here. Denise, can you read this question and answer it? Uh, how much can someone really have motive, motive someone else? Mm, how much? I don't think so. Oh boy. Um, so maybe sometimes it's, I need um, to cough or whatever. Maybe someone have have a have a motive to someone else is. Let's just say a lot. It didn't. <laughs> I think that's too simple. Uh, so, for example, right? Uh, for I example, think it's no, no. your spouse, yeah. your spouse yeah. can be very motivating, right? To do things. Um. Maybe. It, um. <laughs> Sometimes it's not we know everything. Uh huh. It's just very best friend have he, or um any other way. Um. Uh, in other way, in the business, um, they can will um, take care of some hide. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Height, height, price, height, price. Yeah. Good. Let's go ahead and move on. What motivates you? Cool. When do you find it hardest to get motivated to do something? Man, these are some tough questions. Like, <laughs> Alice, go ahead and answer this one. If you want to, you can also read it. Um. Yes. When I uh, when I find uh, I can't accomplish something. Or uh, something doesn't uh, affect me, uh, or I'm sick. If it doesn't affect you? Yeah, or oh, I'm sick. Ah, uh, okay, I see. And why? Can you answer why as well? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 why I have a uh, why I can why I can't accomplish something? I think uh, uh, I have uh, I have a I have a, a lot of stress for the, for these things. So I must be uh, give up the give up uh, because if I do, I didn't give uh, I don't give up I I have to, uh, I must be uh, good and sleep. So I um, and uh, and the second uh, uh, second reason. If it doesn't affect you, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like uh, I read my paper, uh, and or uh, I find a uh, find a job, I just uh, I just choose. To choose one uh, one opportunity. Uh, I don't like uh, uh, too much opportunities and too uh, too much choice because uh, uh, I'm I'm very hesitant. So you don't <laughs> like it when when there's a lot of options. Yes, <laughs> I couldn't choose uh, choose which one is good. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a there's a phrase, there's actually a phrase for that. Um, in English, there's a phrase for that. Let me try to remember what it's called. There's yeah. A phrase for that when you have too many choices. Give me, give me like ten seconds to think of it. Um, frozen paralysis. Wait, para ah, paralysis by analysis. Paralysis. Par by analysis. Let me let me fix the spelling. Oh. Paralysis by analysis. Paralysis. When you have yeah. so many options that you analyze which to take, yeah. but take none. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Paralysis by analysis. All right. Why are you motivated to learn English? Ooh, Kim. 
Why are you mo motivated to learn English? Hmm. <laughs> I I I. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, because uh, my husband and, uh, have learned English. Uh, uh, because my husband uh, learning is learning English. Uh, he uh, encouraged he encouraged me uh, uh -huh. to learn it. Remember that uh, previous so question asking about English. how much can other people motivate you? So uh, there's your husband motivating you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I. But I, uh, I think it's uh, mm, very very important uh, to me. I can it can mm, it can uh, let make me uh, make make me make my job uh, mm, better than yeah. than ever. Yeah, so uh, it, it actually does have practical it, value. Yeah. It has practical value. Yes. Let's let Denise answer this yes. as well. Denise, why are you motivated to learn English? Yes. Uh. You there, Denise? Yeah. Okay, what, what motivates you to learn um. English? Yeah. Travel, maybe travel. Uh, yeah, I like travel. with my fa with my family travel. Uh, travel about and then uh, make some more friends in all over the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. And last but not least, Alice, what motivates you? What motivated oh. you to learn English? Oh. I want to talk with uh, for, uh, foreigners and uh, want to study abroad. Yeah, very good. So you want to talk with foreigners and study abroad. Cool. Awesome. Any questions so far? No question. Cool. No, thank you. More motivation. So final thoughts on motivation. <clears throat> So it looks like there's a quote here. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity. Mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. Andrew Carnegie, Carnegie, nineteenth century steel magnate. So this guy says pretty much that it's very important to be motivated. If you can't stay motivated, then you have to accept your situation, no matter how good you are at everything else. Cool. What do you think of this quote? Anyone can answer. Whoever wants to talk can go ahead. No thoughts? <laughs> All right, well, that brings us to the end of the lesson. But before we finish, I want to ask if you have any last questions. Any last questions or comments, concerns, right? Open discussion. You can talk about anything you want now. Go ahead. What is uh, uh, mediocrity means? What was that last one? What was what? A uh, mediocrity means. It's a uh, page eleven. Mediocrity. Mediocrity. Ah, so mediocrity. Ah, uh, mediocrity. It's like when um, it's the same as saying like average or um, well, it comes from the word mediocre, right? 
mediocrity. So it's to be okay. to be average, to to not be better or worse, just to be average, right? So if you're not motivated, then it's common, yeah. right? Yeah, to be to be like the common folk, like to be to be like everyone else, to be like everyone else, right? Oops. Okay, got it. Just be like everyone else. Cool. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Ellis, Kim, and Denise. Um, you guys did awesome. I hope you all have a great day, and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, 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 teacher. Have a good day. All right. So that was one session. Now I have to go here. Refresh. Each session, although it's only forty-five minutes long, requires some preparation and some. I don't know. Post preparation, whatever that would be called. Which is annoying because I have to write stuff like, fantastic, lesson. Loved the discussions. Cool, I typed something. Kim. What did I write on Kim? Pronunciation work. Should practice pronouncing extrinsic and intrinsic. I got tired of saying did good. I'm just going to say what they need to improve on. So I'm just going to write the same thing because they all seem to struggle with that word. <laughs> Should practice extrinsic, uh, extrinsic. I'm trying to pr type properly. Extrinsic and intrinsic. Beautiful. Same thing. Should practice. Should I need to practice my typing? Extrinsic and intrinsic. This is just something that takes a long time. I'm just typing nothing. Fuck. Did great, but should practice. Did great, but should practice. Did great, but should practice. Submit. Success, great success. 